Hey everybody, Christian here from Android Unite. Thanks for joining us again for another video review. This time it is courtesy of Spigen, and it is their uh, Galaxy S7 Edge Neo Hybrid case. Uh, this is the satin and the black version, um, and this is the packaging that it comes in. Uh, of course, you can see it's a dual-layered structured protection case um, with a polycarbonate, I believe, exterior band and a TPU uh, on the inside. And uh, here are the details for you guys if you want to run through them really quick. Uh, it says dual-layered structured uh, protection enhances shock absorbency, uh, slim design with perfect grip, and form-fitted for devices. The installation is pretty simple. They do offer a graphic here at the top. And uh, here's the, um, I guess that's their model number. It is made in Korea. And uh, packaging is pretty nice. Um, it's got a mixture of gloss, as you can see here, and uh, matte finish. So the actual imprint of the devices is in a glossy finish while everything else seems to be in a uh, matte finish. So very nice touch there gonna go ahead and open it here it does say try with a little flap I'm gonna pull that little tab out and uh, out comes the device itself it's wrapped in a in just a nice little plastic bag here frosted net plastic bag you get one of these little gel inserts set that aside here's the case itself it is a very very nice case it's got a textured uh, grip back as you can see there catching it in the sun goes from smooth to grippy the edges are uh, nice and smooth as well it's got buttons built in black buttons uh, I did mention it was a dual layer case that means that you can actually take this inner portion out separate it from the frame itself it is company branded there by Spigen. Very smooth edges. The frame is uh, really flexible. Kind of feels like it would snap if I kept doing this any further. Uh, but it is not a an aluminum uh, bumper. It is purely made out of uh, polycarbonate material and uh, finished with a nice little silver satin silver finish. Very nice. The inside of the case does offer some sort of shock absorbent design here, padded design. Um, it is TPU, so it's very flexible and it'll retain its original shape fairly well. Um, this is me squeezing it as hard as I can, and um, it seems to be, you know, jumping right back into place. Very nice. Now, uh, of course, this is going to be a very, uh, very quick review since um, I've got plenty of these cases coming. And uh, you guys are going to see way more of these in future videos, namely the uh, Battle of the Cases video that I've got coming up. Uh, a bunch of them are still in the mail, but um, I'll go through them really quick. This is my Galaxy S7 in the silver titanium. Uh, instructions say to install the TPU first, the uh, inner layer first, and then uh, start with the bottom. Fit that in as so and then clip the top. So let's see how well we do here. You heard that little noise popped into place. Now that one did as well. Okay. Let me unlock the phone really quick. Make sure that I can test the design, or sorry, the button. Yeah, fairly, fairly tactile response here. So you can see power button off and on off and on perfect yeah it seems like a great case I love the uh, textured back here um, feels really really thin in the hands very true to the uh, actual design of the uh, phone uh, just for comparison purposes I've got the UAG case here that is pretty much on my phone um, all the time and so just for a quick size comparison here let's take a look at the bottom UAG clearly is the bigger case, uh, both in width and in thickness, as you can maybe see there. The cutouts are slightly different. This one seems to be more form-fitting. This one seems to be allowing a little bit more, um, you know, compatibility with different types of connectors there. 
I do like that the speaker and the microphone are cut to size, but everything else seems to be fairly big, whereas the UAG are pretty much cut to size. Um, what else is there? Let's see. It looks like there is a lip here of roughly, I would say maybe a millimeter and a half for uh, you know laying on the table. No fear of it actually touching the surface. Uh, you're protected from the bottom and the top. The sides, of course, since there is a uh, that cascading screen, um, you don't get much protection on that in that respect. But overall, I love the satin mainly because it matches the. Uh, the uh, silver titanium of my phone so it's a very smooth transition there um, definitely play, pays tribute to the color of my device the camera cutouts are fairly deep I would say it's in the two and a half to three millimeter um, depth range there Let's see if my camera will focus here it will not I'm sorry guys wish I could show you that but it is fairly deep but it's uh, beveled and so it doesn't seem like you know it takes up a bigger footprint than say something like this but um, this one's just a straight drop off pretty much here and uh, this one's is a nice little beveled glossy finish very nice I like that definitely uh, definitely willing to take this one out and uh, test it out um, let's just see here let me see if I can uh, zoom out just a tad bit let's see if I can throw my phone just like a frisbee you ready for this, guys? And, yeah, right. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, this is the review of the uh, Spigen uh, Neo Hybrid case, the satin and the black variant. And uh, you guys can buy this on Amazon. I'll leave the Amazon link in the description. Price is about uh, 15 to 18 bucks. And uh, is it well worth it? We'll see. Only time will tell. Definitely keep tuned for uh, more of these videos. I've got plenty of cases coming up in the future and uh, definitely um, subscribe because you're going to want to see the battle of the cases video that I'm going to put out here in the next two to three weeks. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.